Okay, so I was just checking the Minecraft store to see if there's like any new updates to add-ons or new add-ons and they and one of like there's like four new add-ons. Uh one of them's like trims for tools and weapons, which is okay, that's kinda cool. Uh but like the they the Tinker Construct and the, they've like effect they like official the ads that the Tinker Construct, uh, Tinker's Construct as a add-on. And if you didn't know, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this multiple times in like live streams or videos or whatever, Tinker's Construct is my fa- probably my favorite, you know, Java mod of all time. Because in my opinion, it's the perfect, like, kind of mod. Like, uh, it adds new things and the better way to do stuff that's already in the game but it doesn't force you to do so like yeah you could uh, get sand gravel and clay and make grout and seed bricks and make a smeltery and uh, to get and like double yours from it but you could also just still use a furnace if you wanted to uh, and you could still like craft vanilla swords and tools and stuff unless it was like in a mod pack and then the mod pack specifically disabled making the vanilla stuff which I kind of didn't really like, but, you know. Um, I believe To The Core did that, and I don't think Project Ozone did. Maybe Blast Off? Maybe? Well, this is going way back. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Um, you know, it has something cool and new. It to, you know you it, and it doesn't force it it doesn't force you to use it, it you it, you know you can use it if you want to and if you do use it it makes your life easier but you don't have to is what I'm saying basically uh, and it expands on what's already in Minecraft which is also a big point for me like just expanding on previously existing stuff that's also you know that's gonna give you an extra point in my opinion for for mods but yeah uh to be honest, I didn't even know Tinker's Construct was still getting updates. I'm not that to up to date on like uh, add-on stuff anymore. Not since like um Jin left the Yogg's cast. But that's a different thing. Yeah. I miss those days though. But hey yo. Maybe who knows, maybe one day you'll eat him, I doubt it, because he's been back. Making videos for a while now. But it's just not, well, I do like him. It's just not the same as like when he was doing stuff with Duncan and Lewis and like Blast Off to the Core and Project Ozone 3. But, eh. Uh. Like, you know, if you know, like if you've seen, if you've seen those series, you'll know. Oh, and Whale, Whale Lords was hilarious. I missed the popcorn! Um, I'm gonna distract again. Uh, that's the mob armor book. I don't want the mob armor book. So, yeah, when I saw this, I literally dropped everything to look at So, materials, and yeah, even you, we did, you got the book! Uh, sneak and interact to. Oh! You can select the chapters! Oh, so cool! Oh, I'm so excited to get into this. Like, I was kind of feeling down because lately there's not been that many new cool add-ons added, and now they've added this. I'm just so reinvigorated to get to like look into this. So, yeah, let's let's take a look into this. Oh, and I don't, I don't know if the camera can see. I got just the biggest smile on my face right now. So, let's have a look at the introduction. Ooh. Right, so, welcome to Materials and You. Greetings and thank you for downloading Tinker's Construct. This handbook serves uh, as uh, your guide to Tinker's. While uh, some uh, knowledge uh, may be lost in the depths of time, fear, fret not, we'll continue to unearth essential information and update uh, this handbook alongside the future versions of Tinker's Construct. Oh, it's, always, it's always good when they uh, start off with a book because it's like, yeah, we know it's not perfect right now, but we're going to continue to update this uh, and make it even better. Like, oh, yeah. 
Remember, innovation thrives on exploration. Dive in, experiment with different materials and tools. Uh, oh, this should be, uh, d d uh, materials and tools and discover your own path. For the la la for the latest updates and changes, be sure to visit the Tinker's Construct page in the Minecraft Marketplace. Now, let's get tinkering. Uh, pattern crafting, uh, two pl planks, two sticks. In Tinker's Construct, you uh, rely on uh, patterns uh, extensively. Yeah. Oh, they even got all the little controls at the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Uh, these, uh, these patterns are used to shape both the individual tool parts and the work tables you'll need uh, for crafting. Oh, I don't even remember what page you're on. Oh, so yeah. Uh, do it again. I'm just, I'm just like fanboy never. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll get, I'll make six lots. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, oh, no, that's seven. How did I get an extra one? That in there. I'm in creative. E mode zero. I can't remember what I was doing. Oh yeah, I was uh, like testing if the uh, mob armor could be enchanted. So we can make nine blank patterns. Oh, the, it's at the crafting station. How do you make that? Oh, is it, yeah, just a crafting table. Now, if I remember correctly, hold on. When I place this down, so oh, it's cool. cool. So if I just you know, put that in there. Oh no, that's that's a little bit disappointing. But I remember in ja in the uh, Java version, you used to be able to like put stuff in here if you're crafting stuff up, and then just like exit out of it, and they'd stay in there, and you could go get stuff. You could even like have have hoppers going into it. Oh, I think I heard something Keaton. Um. <laughs> anyway. Uh. But oh. This is cool. Uh, but it's still nice to have it. It's just like a new crafting table, basically. Uh, hold on. Oh. I did not want to do that. Let me break you. And you can go there. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm getting distracted. So, we've got stencils. So if we get stencils and a plank, we can make a stencil table craft stencil table crafting. The first step in your tinker uh, The first step in your tinkering adventure is to create a stencil table. You need a blank pattern as a pattern as a for this, which you can craft from planks. So yeah, just get your plank. I make a birch one. Yes, I can. Uh, down here is a bit full. Let's go somewhere else and build, uh, let's go build it next to the super smelter. So kind of go away. Um. Oh, and I've got to tie you up. Uh, let's get rid of this copper. Uh, and we can start building up. Yeah. Right, so there you go, got the copper cleared away and I'm just going to dump it in the chest. Uh, 
Alright, so we've got a stencil table now. Now, in here, we can make all the different types of stencils, sir. Uh, so, yeah, stencil table, ready to forge your own path. Here's how. Grab a blank pattern, open the stencil table, use the in-game crafting guide to find the desired tool and pattern. So, we've got, like, sword pattern, got shovel pattern, got rod pattern. So, rods are basically sticks. Uh, we pick it pattern, so I think... Uh, with this you just like craft your item together and it, uh, with it and it'll repair it. Got a pickaxe, got to guard pattern, so I go with sword, dagger pattern, dagger cross guard pattern, cleaver guard pattern, cleaver pattern, uh, binding pattern, which is used for like binding all these together, and we've got the axe pattern. Now I'm gonna leave that for a minute because. If I go into here, we have the Part Builder Crafter. So we'll get all this crafted up and the dirt set up and then uh, I'll like craft it all up. Uh, craft. Ah, uh, um, I'll, I'm trying to weird, but I can't weird very well. I'll get all the like necessary stuff crafted like the uh, uh, part builder and the smelter and all like the and all like the uh, for you know taps and stuff and here we have the part builder so let's say I get a pickaxe head real quick oh, how many does that cost three okay then we can make pickaxe head wood Pickaxe head bone and pickaxe head, head stone, uh, and I believe if you like use the stone, you need the stone one. The item's a bit bugged out, but I guess this is why they said they'd uh, fix it up in future updates. Yeah. Um, now for a real one, fun. Once you crafted some patterns, create the part builder. The essential tool station lets you turn your designs into functional parts. Uh, so hold on, if I, oh, what, what I'm going to do real quick, so, you can just straight up build, um, parts of these, so if I get some bones real quick, some bones, and I'm going to want some of these, uh, patterns, aren't I, so, I'm going to, I'm gonna make her a star uh, string go away. Get some logs, craft up a stack of planks. Put the one extra log away. There we go. I think I probably have too many, but it's just wood basically so I'm not gonna cry at, uh, if I've made too many. Let's make uh, one of each real quick. So I'm gonna put that there. There, there. So we've already got a pickaxe. Yeah, let's make a shovel, a sword, a lever, axe, rod, Binding, guard, frost guard, dagger, bear, guard pattern. A repair kit. Yeah, already made a rod. So then we could like come in here, and now we've got all of these. So you got the different repair kits and all that. It is a little, like I said, it is a little bit string binding. Oh, you can make string bindings. Got stone, wood, uh, wood, stone. So yeah, uh, let's just make a bone pickaxe real quick. So we will need a bone head. Hold on. Uh. 
Let's get these back in. So, oh wait. Yeah, that one. So, pickaxe head. There you get. Oh, it uses up the pattern. Okay. Well, I'm going to need another pickaxe head then. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Here's our weapon, the power builder. Uh, using Game Crafting Guide to find the desired tool pads, select the corresponding soft material and pattern from your inventory. So now we need the Tinkerer's Station at Crafting. Tinker's Station, so that's a crafting table, a thing, and a log. So let's go down and get a log. So we've done bitch, we've done oak. I don't really want to do jungle, I don't even have a jungle plant log, so I'm not going to do jungle. I don't like jungle, it's my least favourite uh, wood type. Power builder, no not power builder. Tinker station, there we go. Put that there, I need to eat. So then, so we've got all the different uh, uh, pickaxes and each like, and depending on the material you make, it gives it like different uh, um, attributes. So for a pickaxe, you need a handle. Uh, binding and a head. So, bind. Okay, apparently, you can only make them out of string. That looks a bit. Yeah, let me go get some string. Well, at least uh, you can make out a boon. Unless you threw a string there. I think it might be just one string, I don't know. Let's see. No, uh, it's four string, I need three more string. Okay. Get down there. Yeah, and in case you didn't haven't figured this out yet, this is going to be one of the longer uh, videos I've done. One of these, because there is just so much to this add-on. Or mod, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so we make a... Wait, you get two here. Need a new one of them, though. Binding pattern. And... Handle? I think it was rod. Make a rod. And we can now make a bone pickaxe. Let's just check this out real quick. So it's got 175 durability and 5.0 speed. Harvest tier stone traits. Undyed stringy wong think it's gonna push to attack damage. So yeah, it is like one of the easiest like uh, pickaxes to get um, And before I do it is basically like a stone tier pickaxe And I want to test something out real quick. So in the Java mod Tinker's tools do not break ever like, they, you run out of durability, but they never break and go away forever. Uh, they just stay as a broken item in your inventory. Um, I don't really know of a good place where I can really test this out. Uh, over here, yeah, there's a bunch of stone here I can dig up. 
Yeah, it's, a, it's actually faster than stone. It's at decent speed, but... Not great dur- hold on. I expect a durability bar to pop up. One seventy-five. Oh, wait, no durability right there. Yeah, one seventy-five. I've got yeah one hundred and forty-three left. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty decent to durability, to be fair, and it's pretty pretty fast. So yeah, probably craft this over a stone pickaxe. Anyway, it is harder to get bones than it is to get, um, whatchamacallit, uh, stone. But something I want to say right now is that, no, you cannot enchant these, well, not traditionally, if I remember, if it's the same as it is in Java. So if I just grab one of these books, it has literally every enchantment in the game on it that can be put on it. And I try to enchant this pickaxe. Oh, it does let ya. Okay, so that is different to the Java. Um, how it works in Java. But in Java, you would not be able to do this. I'm breaking for you, fortune free, mending and efficiency. Yeah, so in Java, you would not have been able to do that. In Java, uh, the enchanting system is, it will, they do, you can't, they can't be enchanted, but they have like, in, a replacements for enchanting, where you basically use materials to, um, enchant it, basically. Like, uh, you put slime balls on it, and it would give it uh, slimy, which would, uh, uh, may mean it would like uh, he regenerates durability over time. Now I don't know if they're gonna keep if they've ditched that or if that's gonna be added in a later update or what's going on with that. So that's just something for later on, I guess. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up. So we're gonna want to make a stone. You're gonna want to make a, at least one stone version of each of these. Because they are going to be needed uh, later on. So let's just quickly make a stone. One of each. Sure would be nice if I could see these. But you don't really need a stone repair kit. You can't make a stone binding pattern, so don't know what's gonna get what's going on with that. Um and you might need a stone repair kit, so I'll just make one just in case. So yeah. Uh yeah, so Tinker Station, I basically showed you what this does. This allows you to craft up all of your tools and weapons. Basically. And as you can see, there is a lot of them. Yeah, you can just make up straight, you can make just straight up stone tools if you want. Mm. Uh, there is a shovel, pickaxe, dagger, and axe. There isn't a hoe, unlike in the Java one, so again, maybe they've just not implemented that yet. Uh, oh, Tinker Station. Slot it in here. No, 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 no. Thinking. Oh yeah, that's just a little like. Anyway, Selena, greetings all. I, Selena, Akedia, the librarian of the uh, slime craft guide, and the leader of the special slimic mull. Military, military unit. 
Extend the my warmest wishes for success in your studies and a and good fortune in your endeavours. Tier one melee harvestable materials. The possibilities are endless. Experiment with these materials in the power builder to forge unique parts for your melee weapons and harvest tools. So you can make them out of wood. Stone, string, and bone. So here we go, we have these stats for them. Wood, head, durability, 55. Harvest tier, wood. Mining speed, 2.25. Attack damage, 1.0. Trait, cultivation. I do not know what uh, How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? And all, uh, yeah, it, each part has its own durability, and when you put them all together, it comes out to the entire tool's durability. Uh, so the handle, dual, wooden handle, durability 0 0.75, mining speed 0 0.7, and attack damage at 0 0.5, and trait cultivation. And then you got the stone pickaxe, rock solid. Yeah, the durability 1.25, harvest tier stone. Mining speed 3.5, attack damage 1.25, trait summoner. Handle durability uh, 0 0.6, mining speed 1.2, attack damage 1 uh, times, trait summoner. Works uh, alright. Hair durability 100, harvest tier stone, mining speed 2.5, so the head is actually for the bone is slower and less durability than a stone pickaxe with the same attack damage whereas the trait of undead the handle is has better durability worse mining speed same attack damage and the uh, uh has the undead trait so actually you might want to build a pickaxe with that with a stone head and a bone handle for the extra little bit of durability and then you got the binding trait, stringy, theoretically the best material. Uh, tools, unleash your inner tinkering and uh, forge powerful tools in Tinker's Construct. This add-on allows you to craft and customize a wide variety of tools to fit your specific needs and the uh, play styles. Here are a breakdown of the tools you can create. Pickaxes, axe, shovels, daggers, swords and cleavers. I heard an explosion. I'm just going to ignore that. Pickaxe. Dig up uh, with the pickaxe. Yeah, it's a pickaxe, you know. You know, the steady pickaxe is your go-to for mining tool. Go-to tool for mining valuable ores and tough blocks like stone. It's not uh, the uh, fanciest tool, but it gets the job done. Breaking blocks with ease. Get ready to unearth hidden treasure and uh, carve your path on the ground. Uh, I also remember in the original, there was, uh, I believe in the original Tinker's Construct, they had Maddox, Maddox, which was basically an axe, pickaxe, and hoe. Axe, pickaxe, hoe, and shovel all in one. I don't think they have that in here, unfortunately. Again, maybe in future updates. Uh, hopefully this will be like one-to-one to... -one to or at least as close to one to one with the Java mod as it can be one day in the future. Then you got uh, the hand axe. Chop and defend with a hand axe. This uh, handy axe tackles wood and leaves, clearing up paths and getting resources. Doubles as a uh, reliable weapon, making it vi a versatile companion. Shovel. Mul multitasker alert. The shovel. The uh, innovative tool combines the functionalities of a shovel and a hoe. Oh, so that yeah, so this shovel it does actually uh, is actually a shovel and hoe in one. Ah, I see now. So should it be this? Oh, god damn it, my dyslexic brain! It's a sho shovel, shovel, shovel. Yes. Not only can you dig a dirt pass with ease, but you can also till the ground for planting by simply sneaking while using it. To talk about convenience, then we have the sword. More than just a weapon, the sword 
Sure, swords excel at vanquishing foes, but that's not all they can do. They also act as a handy tool for swiftly breaking down things like bamboo and cobwebs, making them a versatile companion to your adventures. I don't think that's anything unique to the add-on. Daggers, the pocket powerhouse, the dagger. This uh, compact weapon uh, may uh, be shorter than a sword, but it packs a punch in the close combat. Uh, while uh, not the uh, strongest, the dagger is reliable and versatile companion for any adventurer. Cleaver, cleave your way to victory. The mighty cleaver, the colossal cleaver, isn't it uh, just for combat? It's a true warrior's multi-tool. Not only does it uh, function as the ultimate defense against uh, mobs, but it's a legendary uh, sharpness allows you uh, to uh, collect mob heads uh, perfect for uh, crafting and uh, the decoration. And yes, that is actually true. The the uh, cleaver, uh, it uh, gives you a chance of dropping mob heads, which is really nice. It does mean you don't have to bother as much with like uh, charged creepers and all that. Tier 1 Material Traits Cultivation increases the chance of obtaining more items from crops when harvesting. So that was from wood, so if you you might want to make a wooden shovel. Shovel, I mean. Uh, summoner, stone and endstone have a rare chance to spawn silverfish and endermites respectively. Why would you want that? Undead, uh, striking undead mobs like zombies and husks transforms them into skeletons. Additionally, all defeated mobs now drop bones and bone meal. So, I guess I could look into... Okay, I guess I could go in creative and get like a, uh, show this off real quick. But I'm not going to show off the obtaining... Uh, I'm not going to show off cultivation, but I can like uh, show off summoners. So if I go into game mode 1 real quick... And I get a stone pick. We've got a stone pickaxe, stone pickaxe. Someone uh float. Okay, we've got a bunch of different stone pickaxes. I just want a stone pickaxe. Here we go. Stone pickaxe. Someone uh stringy. Yeah, here we go. So stone pickaxe. So if I game, go into game mode zero real quick. Scratch my nose. Let's do a bit of diggy dig. Getting anything yet? Well, I've appeared to have dug into a cave. Oh, there we go, a silverfish. I think it instantly died because it got hit by the bone pickaxe, a stone pickaxe. So yeah, that's it. Just summons a silverfish for that. I was actually getting a bit concerned after a bit. There. I was like, oh, is it bugged? Does it not work? Well, now it did work. Just took a while, and then I want the, and then I want a bone sword. Bone sword. There you go, just regular bone. So if I summon a zombie, zombie. I've learned my lesson from the last video. Oh yeah, it does change it into a skeleton. Uh, oh yeah, and it drop and yeah, the skeleton drops bone meal. So yeah. It would be cool if it changed into a skeleton that had that zombie's equipment, but like if the zombie had like a sword or whatever, then it would be a skeleton or a sword. Uh, eh. It's still pretty cool if you want to get some more bones. And also, if you want to just kill some random stuff to get bone meal, that'll be pretty good. 
Uh, stringy, spiders and sheep will now drop string when defeated. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. So I guess spiders will just drop extra string. Tool damage. Tinker's construct handles uh, tool damage a bit differently. When you hover over a tool, you'll uh, find its current damage displayed at the uh, bottom of the tool tip. Uh, additionally, helpful uh, notification will appear as your tool's durability drops warning uh, you uh, when it uh, reaches 10 and 1 durability. Repair, tool repair kit, so it's four material plus a repair kit, and you get the tool repair kit. Uh, our unique durability system uses uh, tool repair kits to restore the uh, health of your weapons and tools. Use uh, the uh, part builder to craft these low tier kits. So yeah, you just craft them up in your inventory and then uh, repair them I think. Oh, two repairs. Uh, repairing tools and Tinker's Construct, a step by step guide. You'll need a uh, part builder to craft a repair kit that matches the material of your tool. E.g. stone repair kit for a stone tool. Equip the repair kit in your main uh, hand. Uh, click uh, anywhere to use the repair kit. This will automatically uh, move it uh, to your off hand. Uh, equip the tool you want to repair in your main hand. Click anywhere again uh, while holding the uh, tool. This will uh, consume the repair kit and restore the durability of your tool. Tip, you can check the durability of your tool by hovering over it in your inventory. Aim, and to, aim to repair your tools before they break completely for optimal. Oh, so yeah, they can break completely. Okay, now I am going to be a little bit critical. I would have really loved it if they brought over the, um, the Java. A uh, feature of them just not breaking and uh, just like being uh, useless uh, when they're at uh, zero durability are basically just being the same as hitting something with your hand. Um, also, I don't know if they have if they have this or not yet, but um, I hope they make it so that you, they have it so that you can replace like the tool parts on your pickaxe because then you can just like take one pickaxe with you for the in, like for like the entirety of the game um and not and then you just like so you'd like chop down a tree you'd make it you know you know you make these you craft yourself up a, up a, up a wooden pickaxe and you could craft uh, and then you could like craft a stone get some stone make a stone pickaxe head and then craft the pickaxe with that stone pickaxe head and replace the head with that head i hope they have that but I, i'm not gonna be it, it would be cool but it's not like or uh, literally unplayable if it, ha you know, it's not going to be unplayable if it doesn't have it. But it would be cool because I always like that aspect about it. So, oh, yeah, fair of a reading. Equipped her with the fundamentals of her tinkering, it's time to put theory into practice. Craft a few basic tools and get your hands dirty. Once you feel comfortable with these essentials, uh, delve deeper into the amazing world of tinkering. My uh, colleagues have uh, complied, complied brilliant re com you complied brilliant resources covering advanced topics in their very own blocks. So if you get one sand block, one grout block, and one uh, clay block, you can get two grout. And if you put a grout uh, uh, with a book, you get a new book. Pony smelting. Uh, by through thinking uh, infuse tinkering enthusiasts uh, gather round I'm a troll magon and I'm here to uh, share my knowledge uh, in the two exciting new books Pe puny uh, smelting and the uh, mighty smelting uh, these guides uh, delve into the art of using uh, superior materials Mastering uh, metal uh, melting and exploring uh, the world of uh, alloying. And that's. Oh, Tinker. Uh, uh, Tinker is. Uh, by metal, unlocks a world of outrageous. Uh, Get ready to craft. Uh, Creations beyond your wildest dreams using everything from slime and gunpowder to the most unconventional materials imaginable. 
Even the slime armor becomes a reality. Okay, I really need... Right, so... I need grout and a slime ball. So, yeah, there's gravel, sand and clay. I don't know how much clay I have. And I know I have a, some slime or something. Slime... Not over here. I think a dog just fell to its death. Slim. Slim. And a... Well, I don't really need that book anymore, do I? How did I get to lead from? Anyway. Uh, crafting materials, I have... 33 clay. I'm going to want to more clay. Um, I also need two books. Here we go. Two books. Alright, so I'm going to take a stack of gravel. And a stack of sand. Alright, so I guess I'll I guess I'll show you where to find the dirt clay if you don't know where. If you don't know where. Uh oh yeah, that's still blown up from my mistake. I wanna be a cat. I can run fast. So I think if I remember correctly over in this direction there's like a lake and an ocean. So yeah, you want to find somewhere with water obviously. Uh, you can also riverbeds, you'll find a bit of clay in riverbeds as well. I believe this is the oak close. So yeah, oh, clay right there. So let me just... Transform into a water creature real quick. Uh, cod will do. Yeah, I got to play right here. Make a stuck a grout. Here you go, grout. Oh yeah, you get two stacks of it. Now we have grout. I am grout. That was actually like an advancement in the uh, Java mod. Uh, you get the I am grout advancement for doing for making grout. Let's head on back. And I, I, I like the, uh, I love how we now have basically the morph mod and the uh, Tinker's Construct in this, in uh, Bedrock now. Because those are like two of my personal favorite uh, Java mods that I've, just, have, that I've been brought over. Just because Morph Gone is like really fun. Just to like morph into different uh, mon mobs and uh, yeah. I think it's going to start. Well, I've already gushed about Tinker's Construct. Enough.
Yeah, uh, let me just. Where's it gonna put? Oh yeah, clay. That in there. I should probably flip that lever and get some of that filtered through. Yeah, we can make Tinker's Gadgety and a uh, Tinker's Puny Smelting. So let's uh, let's get let's start with uh, Puny Smelting because it's the first one that I, the last one uh, told us to, to craft. So okay. The introduction, grout and seed bricks, melt the melter, moving fluids, casting, alloy crafting, tier 2 metals, tier 2 metal trait, and mighty smelting, which is going to be the next book. Oh boy, this is going to be a long one. Oh, I do like the look of this book. They have put a lot of effort into this, so. Uh, puny crafting, red. Ready to graduate from those beginner materials? Let's explore some real tinkering options like the ones I use. Uh, like, yeah, like the ones I use. Metal. While you might not become the ultimate uh, tinker like myself, yeah, but that guy, add to your service. I'm uh, confident that you can uh, pick up uh, some valuable uh, skills. And unleash your creativity. Let's crank up the tinkering fun. So that's how you make grout. You get two of them. Uh, you smell the grout in the furnace. Get seed bricks. for bricks for a uh, seed block. Use a stone cutter to unlock more looks. So yeah. Let's get this grout smelted up. So I already have like a furnace super smelter here. So, yeah, gonna take like five seconds. That's not, I'll, should, I'll probably also like put some uh, fuel in there because I don't know how much fuel they have left. So, I'm gonna have a ton of egg. Oh, I don't have a ton of egg. Is it dark oak? Yeah, a ton of dark oak. I forget that there's invisible items in my inventory. Hmm. I am thirsty though. So let's just dump. Actually, I can just do it manually. It'll be a bit easier. So that's the, uh, oh. There's some warm mutton in there. Right. Yeah, that's all done. <laughs> so let's get that going. And you can just watch the fairness. Also, I love this like animated fairness texture. Like, makes the fairness look so much better. Also, works on blast and smoke. Smoke as well. Here we go, seed bricks coming on in. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna take a stack of this because I think I'm gonna need some seed bricks to make other stuff. So, and that's gonna make 16 seed bricks. And I said if I go to a stone cutter. Stone cutter, here we go. Oh, I need to eat. 
They can make carved seared bricks and seared brick half blocks. Okay. Or basically seared brick slabs. Let me eat. There we go. I would like more seed break variants, but that's also probably something they're going to add in later if they probably wasn't super high up on their priority list. Let's get back into the book. So if you get uh, two seed bricks and two regular bricks, you can make seed cobblestone. I think I should make seed bricks. Well, actually, no, that's the only seed bricks. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, seed stone. Oh, you can make seed stone. By cooking deep slate, I think that is. You put uh, four uh, bricks around the glass, you get the glass block. Uh, furnace, you get seared bricks crafted. Cracked. Yeah, that's how you get this cracked seed bricks. Uh, seared paver. You get Triangled seared bricks. Uh, so that's like um, the prismarine texture for tiered, uh, for seared bricks. Tip: Probably use the blocks in a stone cutter for even more design options. Yeah, if you want to go into that, you can, but I'm not super big on that, and uh, might as well just like leave something for you to uh, look into. So the uh, melter. So we need uh, a glass. Three bricks for them. So let's go get a glass block. Can I go down, please? Thank you. Glass. No. This one I had two. Huh. Oh, yeah, I used one and to craft one of these the entire here. Uh, there's one over here. You just pop. There we go. Pop that there. There we go. You need to make it. Oh. Alright, so we make one of the. So we make a seared glass block. Casting basin. Casting table. I'm in, oh, yeah, I need a fairness. Which is just eight couple of stone. <laughs> Boom. That's a basic custom table smelter, melter. Oh, at least you can see it in your hand. Also, can you see these in your hands? No. Okay. We got this now. I'm going to put this here. Bring it up. Okay, maybe the book uh, has more information why I can't place this. This is your basic melter, perfect for getting us started with simple tasks. Uh, master the melter. This handy tool has uh, two parts: in uh, one the heater and the and the tank. Throw in some coal or charcoal to get the fire going. A uh, bar showing how much fuel remains. 
melt some more well fueled tossing raw or like iron which has uh, molten metal that fills the tank so why can I not place it uh, what are you gawking at Tinker? I've never seen somebody like me before um, the molten metal I'm just trying to figure out how I place this Right, oh, I accidentally pressed D, I think. Now oh, shift. Can they not, can they only be placed on like stone or something? And place it in here. Yeah, please. I don't know why I am unable to place this. This is useless to me if I can't place it. Huh, I don't know why I can't place this. Is annoying me. It doesn't say it needs to be placed anywhere special. Okay. I can summon a melt her. Facing in the wrong direction. Why does it not let me place you down? I'll break you. Oh, I broke something and... No, it's not going away. Okay, if I just... Did a summon... Kill at E. Equals. There we go. I still don't know why I can't place one, so... Just going to try summoning one here. I'm just gonna throw that away. Maybe it's bug, I don't know. But I just summon in it. Maybe they'll fix it in an update. That that is quite a bad one though, not being able to place it. I don't know if like another add on or something gets messing it up or what. Uh oh no. So you just chuck ores and coal at it. So let's try. Um, chucking. What ores do I have? Don't have. Uh, no, I don't have any iron. Or we can do copper. I think I have some copper ore. I don't have copper ore. Uh, what about valuables? Do I have any ores in here? Okay, I'm gonna give myself a bunch of iron or well, I know. If FP raw iron sixty four, and let's just grab a stack of coal. My inventory is full apparently. Uh, that can go in there. Uh, 
Right, so apparently I just need to chuck this in. Maybe I need to do the coal first. But I want to throw some coal or charcoal to get the fire going. But I should. Okay, so I do need to fuel it up first. I need to right click. Oh, yeah, you right click. So it only takes eight coal at a time. And four more ore. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna empty my inventory of these invisible items real quick because they're a bit annoying. And the stone repair kit can go there. I'm taking the string binding. So now I got it fueled up. So we need copper cans. Need to transport to store or pour your freshly malted, melted liquids. Look no further than the copper cans. Each, each can can hold up to one quarter the volume of a bucket, offering a convenient 250 MB or 250 millibuckets of space. So one bucket. So one bucket is 1,000 millibuckets. Uh, anyway, a lava can also be collected in copper cans. For larger volumes of molten liquids, uh, consider using the bucket to try. They often uh, get, they offer a greater 1000 millibuckets of uh, capacity, making them four times larger than the copper can. Can I go in the hole, please? Hole! One, two, three. Let's make myself a bucket. And now I have a bucket of molten iron. I, oh, I can't put it on the ground. I remember you could do that in the uh, Java mod. Yeah, maybe they'll add it later, maybe they won't. I don't know. And if they do, I'll uh, leave a comment telling you. I'm just going to shoot these guys in the face real quick. Alright, you've got your metal uh, nice and melted and you know how to handle it safely. Now uh, the fun part, uh, casting it into some useful tool parts. To craft tool parts uh, for your weapons and tools in the Tinker's Constructor, you'll need to use a casting table. Which I can craft in here. Not base, and I want a table. And it's also invisible. Yay! Oh, but you can see when I hold it. Nice. Um, so I'm just going to put it back here for now. Oh, I can't place a sieve. Hold on, I want to try. If I put that down. Will you go down now? No. Why do you hate me so? I feel free to let me know if I'm missing something here, but I'm pretty sure I should be able to place this down, and I just can't. Can't go in my offhand. I'm right clicking like mad, and I can't place it.
I'm choking it down to do anything. So I need to see if I can summon a casting table. Table right there. Sand casts. Create a tool pattern with a with casting. Craft a, a sand cast. Craft a, a sand cast using one piece of sand. Place the sand in casting table. Put the sand cast on the casting table by interacting with it. Add stone parts. Remove stone part. Pour molten metal. Cool and obtain. Okay, so. If I, uh, yeah, like, uh, one of these, give FP sand 64. I, I'm not going to go all the way down to get some. So, was I supposed to do that? I don't think so. Well, let's move it. Let's try going a bit further away. Oh, well, that's on there now. I still can't. Do the sand part. And now I can't get it off. Oh. What? And now I have three of them somehow. Yeah, I found a duplication glitch. Don't know how. But this just is not working. Oh, wait, am I supposed to actually craft it into a sand cast? Yeah, there we go. You get four of them as well. There's sand. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. There we go. And then we take that out, and then we take our molten liquid, and we pour it in there. And we pour... It's ready, pour a, a copper can, oh I need a copper can! Give... FP copper can of the drug. Empty and okay. So please tell me I can put this back in there. Oh, thank goodness I can. Copper can. Put that in there. And now I have a large handle iron. Neat. Even though I can't see it still. And you can do that with like all the metals and all the parts. Sandcast. Uh... 
Better for them all. Cast and go away. Gold cast. Okay, so prep the mold. Pick any stone tool part, pickaxe, head, shovel, a blade, anything. Place it on the casting table. This will be the same shape as your new tool. So yeah, uh, I know this about this part. So let's take these hand stone handles. Put one in there. Um, I suppose I can get all of that out with a bucket. No. There we go. Let's get some gold. If that P. Or gold sixty four. There we go. Oh, right now I think I need a bucket. Yeah, bucket. So you need a full bucket this time and not just one of them. Great. We've got a bucket of molten gold. Place it on there. And it... It's a po... Oh, I know. I just... Those were the ones I threw away earlier. Now we have the gold uh, cast, which can be used an unlimited amount of times, if I'm not wrong. So, so let's get, uh, just for demonstration, let's get another Molten Iron. You put it in there. And now I've got another Iron Rod. And we still have our cast. So doing this means you don't, basically won't have to craft any more casts. It would be nice if I could get out though. Oh, there we go. And it duped itself again. Oh well. But yeah, and it's not invisible. That is great. And my inventory is a mess. Right now. I do not need that many of them. All of them. So I'm just gonna... I'll be right back in a minute. I'm just going to get all these casted into gold. So, yeah, BRB. Okay, I'm back and I made a cat, a gold cast of everything that you can make a gold cast of. You can't do it with the string biden, but you can do it with everything else. Basically. And I've got a bit of gold left. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, uh, something I want to check, try real quick. Can I make an ingot cast? So if I just like give at P on ingot. Okay, not an iron ingot. Maybe. I remember in the, in the uh, Java mod, they used bricks, I think. No, okay. Maybe it'll be covered in the book later. Gold cast. This casting thing is a breeze, except for the uh, ten times I poured the gold on myself. Then you've got the casting bin. The caster bin is your one-stop shop for creating solid blocks. Pour any block of molten metal and it uh, will be a solid, and it will solidify into a full-size block. So we can craft that in here. Casting basin. Doubt I'm going to be able to place it.
Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to summon a new summon one in. Again, if you uh, if you know why I can't play some, let me know. Some casting basin. So if I put a book of gold in here. It turns into a block of gold. And I think if I get the molten iron out of here. Huh. You can't use these, uh, the copper ones on it apparently. Copper kings. Well, the chair I thought I would have filled like in, filled up incrementally. Anyway, where's my book? Here's my book. Next up, we've got the alloy crafter. Four bricks, three uh, seed bricks, a furnace, and a crafting table. So if I go down here, four bricks, crafting table, furnace. Four breaks before them, and just need a furnace, which is a cobblestone. So, fairness, crafting table, alloy craft door. Huh? Well, at least this one placed down. Oh, and it's even animated. So, we can just make alloys in here like raw, never, never right. To blend, which is never writing gold. Uh, not yeah, never write scraps and gold. Got raw pig iron blend, which is iron, scarlet slime ball, and honey bottles. And then we've got raw queen slime blend, which is gold, cobalt, and magma cream. Rose gold blend, which is copper and gold. Slime steel brand, which is sky slime, seed brick, and the, the raw iron. Alright, that's not all of them. Uh, raw queen slime blend. Yeah, we saw that. We saw the rose gold. We saw slime steel. Raw pig iron. We saw that. We saw that. Ah, there. There's there's raw manilian blend, which is uh, cobalt. Never blend. And our Ardite, Ardite, in the middle of our street, Ardite, gives you two or more lit manillion blend. Anyway, we've got uh, raw hepa, hep, hepaizon blend, which is never quartz, copper, and cobalt. Then we've got a raw amethyst bronze blend, which is copper and amethyst shards oh, you can make blank patterns in there uh, woodstone bone bone woodstone bone Bone. Nah, nothing. No, I've missed by the looks of it. Just a bunch of stuff in there. Um. Anyway, moving on. 
Uh, looking to craft alloys, looking at favor alloy crafter, especially. Get creative with alloy, your crafter. This powerful uh, crafting station lets you mix and match materials like raw iron, scarlet slime, and even honey to create brand new things. In this case, you can combine them uh, to make raw pig iron blend. The first step towards crafting new tools. <laughs> the pig iron block makes me laugh. Tier 2 uh, melee harvest materials. Ah, jumping closes it. Anyway. Uh, so, iron head, durability 380. Harvest here, iron. Mining speed 5. Attack damage 1.7. Trait magnetic. It's unironically simple. It's iron. Uh, and then the handle, durability 105 times multiplier mining speed 0.85 attack damage 1.05 times great magnetic gold durability 65 go uh, harvest here gold mining speed 9.5 attack speed 0.75 trait speed Handle durability 0.25 times multiplayer, mining speed 2.5 times. That is a lot, that is a big multiplier though. Uh, it's bigger than the iron handle. Way bigger than the iron handle and way bigger than pig iron. Uh, attack damage 0.5, trait speed. I love gold! <laughs> oh, this is wrong with my heart. Old reference. Anyway. Pig Iron, Head, Durability, year 580, Harvest here, Diamond. Oh, uh, what do you use to make Pig Iron? Uh, it wasn't here, wasn't it? Pig Iron. Or Pig Iron, and that needs Scarlet Slime. What do you, how do you get Scarlet Slime? Scarlet Slime Ball. From congealed scarlet slime, congealed scarlet slime from four scarlet slime balls, scarlet slime. Scar scarlet shroom planks from scarlet shroom logs. Okay, I don't know. So it must be difficult to get if it's diamond level. This is as good as diamond. Mining speed six, which is slower than gold, but faster than iron. Attack damage 2.5, 580 durability. Yeah, that's way better than iron and gold. Handle has a durability of 1.1 times multiplier, a mining speed of 0.85. Yeah, that's as fast as iron. And 1.1. 1. 1. Well, you don't really care about attack damage with pickaxes, do you? Well, actually, that you the handle's also used in swords, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, that looks amazing. My mouth is watering. Oh, right, this is intendable. My poor teeth would be so confused. Uh. uh then we've got rose gold. Uh, durability 175. A harvest to your gold. Mining speed 9. So it's slower than gold has more durability and it's not that much slower than gold but it has a fair bit more durability on it and has one attack damage trait ex experienced handle durability 0 0.6 so it's more than gold oh it's got a fair bit less my extra mine speed uh, so let's see magnetic creates a magnetic field that attracts oh 
So yeah, let's uh, go into game mode one real quick. Get an iron pickaxe. Iron pick. So I just want a full iron pick, and it's a bit hard to tell which one. Ah, iron pick. Yeah, here we go. So let's drop some iron ore there. Or iron ore. Put the pick in my hand. Did I pick some cup? No, I thought I did. Oh yeah, you can see it's being pulled towards me. It's not a super long range, but it isn't that it is a, a decently far away. It does mean that if you're trying to throw stuff away and you have it in your hand, you're going to be a bit annoyed. Uh, speed channels a rush of energy, gaining a heightened speed when wielded. Oh, so if I... That was gold. So if I go back to game mode 1... Get, oh, I think I was already in it. Anyway, gold pick it. Gold, gold pickaxe, speed, yeah, that's just the full gold pickaxe. Uh, if I take my helmet off, I'll be able to tell if it was working. Oh yeah, there we go. Got speed. You have to like switch it off and on it to activate it though. And it's only speed one. Not the best. Next up is Tasty. When using gain higher saturation for an extended period, reducing hunger depletion. So let's just get a pig iron. Pick. Go into survival real quick. Uh, I need to reduce hunger slow the slow falling's not helping hold on. Come on, hunger, go down. Hold on. Come on. Come on. How is my hunger not going down? go down already so I can test this item what well, hold on if I take some damage hit me And we 
regen my health. There we go. It went down. Oh, you have to do a lot of work to just get down one bar. There we go. Two bars of hunger gone. I'll put this in my hand. Hmm, so it doesn't activate when I put it in my hand. So do I actually need to break a block? It's not giving me the saturation effects for some reason. Ah. No idea why. Why don't you give me... Hmm. Odd. It just doesn't seem to want to work for me, I guess. I don't know. Alright, what's... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, and experience increases the amount of experience you get from defeating mobs and the dead mine goals. Yeah. Not going to shut it off. You get the idea of that. Now we've got mighty spell to play in the world of Matt. Of the smaller just began. The next step of uh, melts. Not a star book. Okay. I right, need another book and a one of them, and I have one of them. More than one. There we go. Come on, then, Lily. Right, Tinker's Mighty Smelting. Uh, Mighty Smelting. Uh, yeah, right. Intrigued by your resourcefulness, or perhaps uh, sheer luck, it seems I underestimated you. Let's push uh, those limits further and uh, evaluate you to your smelting. Uh, elevate your melting. Uh, Melter and those uh, common uh, metals to extraordinary strength. Prepare yourself, fellow tinkerer, because uh, things are about to get uh, very technical very quick. Tinkers and bills. All right, tinkerer, uh, tinkerer, uh, extraordinary. Time to uh, ditch that starter kit and forge the legendary tinkers anvil. Imagine crafting weapons so epic they could uh, fell a dragon and the uh, armor tougher than a troll side. Sounds pretty sweet, right? But to be warned, this anvil demands the finest materials. Only uh, the truly weary can wield this power. Think of as our anvil. Three iron blocks and uh, three, four bricks. Four. Forge a fearsome armor, cleaver through foes with ease, and craft swords that uh, sing with every swing, all on the, the uh, mighty Tinker's Anvil. Actually, cheaper than the normal anvil. Very neat. And got myself a Tinker's Anvil. And so you can probably make iron... So iron, diamond and copper there. Don't know if it actually matters. There you go, Tinker's Anvil. Okay, you got lots of stuff.
Okay, lots of stuff to craft in here. Need cleaver guards. And this is where you craft all your sword, where you can craft like bare swords and stuff. Just a wooden sword. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff to make in this uh, add on. Right. Oh. Yeah, I guess you can probably figure it out from there. Let's it. So, I just want to say to make that you need plate chest. Plate chest plate. Plate chest plate. Plate chest plate. Oh. How do you make plate chest plate? That uh, you use to craft the other stuff. Arm steel. Hole bolt. Oh, there it is. I oh, know that's a cobalt one. So the slime steel, rose gold, pig iron, neverite, manulian, out of the gold, copper, cobalt, surface. How do you make the chate? Just play, hold on. What if I go change? Oh. There it is. You need cobalt ingots and the dirt chains to make the base plate chest plate, which is then used to craft every other one. Okay. That's how you do it. Oh no! I'm just. I'm, I'll leave that for later. I think. Um, I was giving ahead a few, a little bit. So, smeltery controller. Fill a casting basin with a cedar brick block. Next, pour molten copper from a bucket onto cedar brick. Let the copper cool completely. Okay, so I need to put a cedar brick into there and give that p raw raw 64 I need to fill it up with hole again The downside to this is that it is always like running out of fuel, even when it's not smelting by the looks of it. Which is a little bit annoying. And now I have a smelt free controller. Bill uh Another cup of coal and smeltery controller. When your smeltery controller crafted, it's time to uh, set the stage for your new uh, melting gas station. Find a space area at least seven by seven blocks wide. Here's the magic: when you place a controller, it will transform the surrounding area with helpful outlines. Uh, Outline. This outline acts as a guide, showing you exactly where to position the seared bricks to complete your smeltery. And I can't place it down. 
Ugh, this is annoying. Hey, right, someone smell three. Someone smelt controller. I need to move it a bit. I'm gonna move it here. First. Hold on. I need to kill that he. I don't even think it's properly aligned. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Oh, it's just a little bit... Okay, I have an idea. So FTB underscore TC. Smeltery controller. Wiggle, wiggle, one, wiggle. And let's get a B U T. FTB underscore TC. Melt. E-R-Y.
There we go, that should do it. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. How? I did, I did it one block up. How is this? How have you done this? Why have you done this? Okay, what if I get rid of that one? And now it's in the ground. Okay, that did not work at all. Okay, I think that one worked. Yeah. Okay, so now let's just build this up. I really thought the command block was going to be the easiest way to do it, because... But no. And it would be nice if it just, you know, worked. And I could just place it down normally. I don't know why a bunch of these just didn't let me place them down. Again, if I find out why, I'll place, I'll pin a comment in the comment section. Right. Control. Into the smelter's exciting features. See a tank. Smeltery needs a steady supply of heat and melt uh, metals. That's where the tank comes in. That these handy containers hold the fuel, typically lava or blazing lava, that keeps your smeltery running. Fuel options: you can uh, fill your tank with uh, a lava bucket or even cans. Smelting placement. Uh, tank uh, connects uh, to the smeltery in a specific spot. The bottom left slot at the front. Tip. While tanks are great for fueling you or smeltery, they're something. One left slot. So bottom left. There's just one glass block. Around a bunch of bricks. Surrounded by a bunch of bricks. See a tank. There we go. Hopefully this one will let me place it. If not, I'm going to be annoyed. Yeah, of course not. There you can see that's where the sea tank is supposed to go. It's not letting me place it else, so I'm supposed to go there. Yeah, not letting me place the sea tank down, and I don't know why. Again! Um. again. Hmm. 
Нет. I'm going to have to try and get myself as centered as possible and summon it. Oh, come on, I think I was like a pixel off. Yeah, well, close enough. So now if I get like a bucket of lava. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost midnight. I gave myself a lava bucket. Right click on that. There we go. There's lava in it now. And then I see a drain. And I see a drain is the key to ex extracting all the molten metals you've been working hard to create in your smeltery. Think of it as the uh, tap uh, you can use buckets or even the Copper cans to collect the molten goodness. Here's the thing to, rem to remember about placement. See the drains have uh, designated spots, the bottom right slot in front of the smeltery. Just put it there and it will automatically connect to the uh, smeltery controller ready to dispense the liquid. So that's two copper ingots and four brick yeah, see it bricks. I bet this isn't going to let me place it either. Please just let me place you. I'm tired. It's almost midnight. I want to go to bed and laugh to delicately place you in. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, got that basically perfect first time. Building a smell tree, blah blah blah, you get them there. No 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 no. And you just build more up, you put you put lava in the tank, you... Ah, smell to a controller. Make sure your... Let's see your tank is filled. Hang on. Yeah, so you just put your ore in, and then you do that. Uh, final notes. Big size for big results. The smeltery has a set size. This means you can't customize its dimensions, so, so plan your smeltery's location specifically to maximum. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing, but it's fine. Uh, breaking and moving with breaking move with care. Need to really care your smeltery or tank component. Uh, no, simply hold sneak and the uh, punch the block you want to break. You'll receive a confirmation. Oh. You push to sneak and punch. Neat. So is that what you're supposed to do with this? Oh. 
Yeah, we move. There we go. Still won't let me place it back down. What does it with that? Ah, okay. What about you? Nah, you're just a normal luck. Anyway. So basically, you right click it with the ore you want on the smelt. You can even see it inside there. Hold on. Uh, see inside there. I want to know if I. Oh, wait. Uh, I need more lava. Ah, uh, nah. I was wondering if I, if I stood in the molten metal, would it uh, tear, uh, damage me and like drain my blood like in the Java mod? I know that's how you got pig iron originally in the Java mod, so I, d I don't know how you get it in this one. I'm not taking damage there. Uh, that'll probably be in the next book. Oh god, it's almost midnight. Okay, I think I'm... Um, I am quite tired, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break, go sleep, and then I'm going to come back in the morning and continue on with this review. But yeah, basically you, st you stuff your wall all in there. And then you take it out here. Then you can do whatever you want, and you can put it in there. Hmm, can you smelt blocks and lingus in it? Yes, you can. So yeah, I'm gonna go sleep uh, in a minute, and then I'll be. Back in the morning when I'm, you know, not exhausted. Like, even like Lily, she's just snoozing right there. So I'm tired. You are going to bed? Bed now? No! You're doing Minecraft stuff. Yeah, I'll see you. I will see you guys in the mo morning. First time I've had to do this. All right, I'm back. I not long woke up, so yeah, let's get back into this, shall we? Uh, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, just built this, didn't I? Yeah. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to get blood in here though to get to the here guy, and maybe oh, hold on, oh. Might tell me later, but I want to try this real quick. Give at P raw. Per. Pork. Ah, there you go. Pork chop. No? Hmm. Let's try what's in the flesh. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'll just have the book tells me later. Uh there. And we did that, a Lloyd Crafter. The Never, brave the fiery depths of the Never, prepare to on air some truly unique treasure. Here's the lowdown on the new ores exclusive uh, to this infernal dimension. Ardite in the middle of our I already did that. Anyway, and cobalt. This rare uh, these rare gems are closely associated with uh, 
Piglin Settlements. Keep an eye out for them while exploring the nether wastes near Piglin activity. Unlike most ores, Ardite and Cobalt can also spontaneously appear in previously explored areas. So that'll be good if you have like an already existing world like me and then um, you, you know, you don't uh, want to travel a million billion trillion blocks away to f try and find some Ardite. I'm just going to have a quick look, see if we can actually find... Ah, uh, ghasts. Hey, ghasts. Um... Hmm. I'm not seeing any ardite uh, or anything. It is quite rare if I remember correctly as well. So, don't be expecting to find a ton of this stuff. But he also said it's they spawn in the never waste. They definitely spawn here. I don't know where a never waste would be. Oh, you gotta lead little fella. Hmm. I think there's another waste over in this direction. Hold on. I'm gonna switch to the LA because that's just faster flying. Flying. Pretty sure the LA is the best flyer in the Morph Gauntlet. Second best would be the. Uh, the Phantom. Yeah, there you go, never wastes. Yeah, there you go. That took way too many shots to kill. Uh, Yeah, not seeing any Ardite or Myth. Oh, and that's uh, Warped. Never wreck. Hmm. Yeah, and no, I'm not seeing any. Oh, I'm on fire. Yeah, so I believe it is quite rare and it's probably a bit more common in like new chunks rather than all the existing chunks. So, yeah, and I don't know uh, exactly what the spawning mechanics is for all chunks. So I can't really just be like, oh, I'll just go AFK here for a bit and then he'll turn up or something, but. Um, no, I'm 90% sure. Oh, wait, there. Uh, come on. Go away. Go away. Stupid. Hey, to the never. Hey, I'm going to do anything here. I try to do one little thing and I get swarmed by magma cubes, exploded by ghasts. And set on fire by blazers. And this mine it? Oh, yes, I can. Love it when I can use my. Let's so, say, yeah. Got some more cobalt.
But no ad right. And I reckon if I just like stick around here for long enough and just you know just do a bit of flying around, some uh, uh, would spawn. Oh, I've got all the things to do in this video, so let's get back to the overworld. Yeah. Did the smeltery using the using smeltery alloy? So ne oh yeah, we're on to the never. Yeah, yeah. That's just no. I don't know why they did that like twice. So yeah, cobalt breaking out. Now, yeah. Uh, uncommon. So watch. Yeah, they are uncommon. But you can see both of them there. Uh, Three, tier 3 melee harvest materials. Use these materials to craft parts to your melee weapons and harvest tools. So, pickaxe head for the amethyst bronze. Uh, 720 durability, harvest tier of diamond, mining speed of 7, attack damage of 1.5 with... Oh, soulbound! Looks like I'm stuck with this forever, but I, um, okay, that's actually really cool. So, Soulbound is one of the coolest, if I, if I remember correctly, is like one of the coolest, uh, um, like, um, things that, that in this entire add-on. So basically, um, if I remember correctly, when you die, if your tool or weapon has Soulbound on it, it will stay in your inventory as if you had keep inventory on when you die. And I think this is like the... I, and I don't know why they've not added a Soulbound to Vanilla Minecraft because it is honestly one of the best, uh, in, you know, like ideas for a survival world to be able to like, enchant your items with Soulbound. Anyway. And you got a handle with with that has a durability multiply of one point one times, a mining speed of uh, speed uh, a multiply of zero point seven, and attack damage of one times. Honestly, I'd probably go with the uh, amethyst bronze pickaxe head because it's a di it's diamond. It's got decent durability, mining speed of seven. I don't know and. Uh, you don't really care about attack damage, but the mining speed is 7. I'll, I'll have to like go through all of these and uh, uh, rank them in rank each part individually. Um, like, at some point. Uh, like I'll probably like, take a quick break, do that. And, um, you know, have like a little bit at the end where I was like, oh, here's my personal like rankings on all of these. Uh, all these items. And, uh, yeah, so I'd probably, I might, I'd probably do one separate for, like, one for, like, each, like, type, so long, one for, like, um, I'd probably do one for swords. So that would be, like, uh, cleaver cast, sword cast, and the dagger cast. Uh, and I do do one for like the shoal, one for the pickaxe, a tier list for the shoal, a tier list for the pickaxe, and a tier list for the axe. Uh, I pro I'll probably do that off screen and then just be like, hey, here's my tier list. And here's why I think each of these are as good as they are. I'm a little bit, oh, also, I'm a little bit disappointed that they don't have uh, crossbows. Again, that could be added later on. 
But if they if they add crossbows, that would be really cool because what you could do with the crossbows is that is like they had like different charge types. Like this was before Minecraft added vanilla cross you know crossbows into vanilla, so they had like different charge times. You had different strings. So if you got like a uh, there was this uh, spider mob in the Never that if you killed, you got fiery string. And you could use that fiery string in a crossbow or bow recipe. Oh, yeah, and there's also no bows, which is also really disappointing. Again, maybe in a future update. Um, and if I do add them, I will be making another video about it. Um, and basically, um, if you use fiery string, it would give the crossbow fire aspect, which is like one of the coolest things in my opinion, because it's just like. You, the materials you use to uh, make the uh, crossbow affected how, like, affected what it did, and it was just so cool, in my opinion. Like, maybe uh, they could do it, like, maybe they could add the, spy the fire spider mob, or they could just uh, make it, say, craft string with, like, blaze powder, and you get fiery string or something like that, but I would love to see that, because it was just, like, the coolest thing, in my opinion. Um... Oh, you can just make straight up diamonds. Yeah, you can melt. So yeah, you can melt diamond down in here. Uh, so if I get, so if I give at p diamond. So if I just give myself like five diamonds. Oh, can you not put them in? Ah, how do you get molten diamond then? Don't tell me it needs to be diamond or. Hmm. There's still iron in there. Maybe it doesn't like having two different types of thing in it. Yeah, it's also not taking gold. So I think I need to empty out the iron. Yeah, I think you need to empty out at the previous materials before you can get use the next one. So let's just. There we go. Let's try that again. Diamonds. No, diamonds not working. No, oh, gold's not working either. Oh, there's still iron in it. Ah. I bet there's not enough iron in it to fill up the even one of these. So, boom. There we go. Now is that... Now is all the iron gone? No. What? Yeah, hold on. Okay, where's the other one? There it is. Let's get the bucket. Can't get any more out. Oh, come on. Oh, and there goes all the lava. Lava bucket. There we go.
Nope. Nope. Oh. Is that... Why is there still some left? Can't just break it and place it back down because I can't place it back down. Hold on. What if I remove that? Um, no, that doesn't remove it. Okay. How do I get rid of that last bit of iron? Ugh. Uh, I'm just going to put down a new one. Someone smelt. Smeltery controller. So much easier if I could just place these down. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. And now I'm just going to go into game mode one. Don't know why um, you can't have more than one metal in a single one of these at any time because in the jar one, that's how you having multiple in one of them is how you made alloys. I mean, I mean making them in this thing will, will probably be better because uh, you made a lot of axial, um you know, combinations so with. The old system. Try this again. Diamonds. Oh yeah, there you go. Five diamonds. Can you get rid of diamond ore? Yeah. I don't know why you'd want to do a diamond ore. So fortune three, you'd probably get more. Yeah. 
เอ๊ครับไปมันโอเคครับนาก็ประเคลิกวิจัยมันยีอันนี้ยังคุณจะสามารถทำให้มันเป็นอะไรที่คุณอยากแคสต์ที่คุณต้องการใช่ไหมครับดิมอนด์เฮดจูเบตี1280ถูกไหมครับ A little bit hard to read. Uh, harvest here, diamond, obviously. Mining speed, one, uh, 7.5. Tag damage, 2.75. Trait diamond. Okay, yeah, so... That is way better than the Amethyst Bronze. Ah, that's annoying then. Mining speed, 7... 7.5. But the durability is way higher because that's got, only got 720 when this has 1,280. Uh, what about the handle? Durability 2.25 times, only well, one time, that's way more than uh, oh. uh, Mining speed 1.6 times, that so means attack damage, well I don't really care about attack damage. Oh, that's annoying, it would... Uh, I don't know if I would use the head then, because... Hmm... I mean, it's only a little bit slower, but the durability is a killer on that. Uh, Cobalt, durability 800. A harvest here, diamond. Mining speed 6.5. Uh, and trait, Langer. Kill, uh, killer, killer, killer? Yeah. Um, huh. Yeah. For a long haul, don't let pillagers get your goat equipped coal boat. <laughs> anyway, um, ah, oh, that's a little bit disappointing because I, uh, I remember coal bolt uh, uh, in the uh, Java mod being better than diamond. Ah, at least for tools. I think pretty sure like coal bolt used to be like the best of the best for stuff in, uh, yes. And I think it to think it probably should be because um all well, except for like alloys because um uh what was I saying? Uh oh and also there's a sword type missing missing there was a rape here that you could like just spam click and do a bunch of damage. Anyway, um because it is bit is pretty much the hardest get in the because you have to get to the nether and it's very rare in the nether, so yeah. Slime steel, uh, hair durability, 1040, not much lower than diamond. Harvest here, diamond, mining speed 6, which is 1.5 less, yeah, 1.5 less than diamond. Uh, trait stuck handle, durability 1.2 times, mining speed 1 times, attack damage 1 times, trait stuck. Ah, uh, dite, hair durability. Is 500 harvest tech tier neverite. Uh, so yeah, that's better than di so it has a higher harvest than diamond, but way less durability. Mine speed eight though, with attack damage 3.5. Trait smelting. Oh, and I forgot to read them. Ugh, I hate working with slime steel. It always feels a little well slimy. Hotter than a gas fireball and twice as tough. Uh, handle 1.25, a durability multiplier, mine speed one times, attack damage one times, trait smelting. Blazing lava. Regular lava just doesn't cut it when it comes to higher tier materials. But fear not, blaze lava burning far hotter than its. Uh, 
regular counterpart is the answer to your melting grows. Here's how to craft this essential ingredient. First you'll need a blaze head. These can be obtained by defeating a blaze in the nether with a cleaver. Place the blaze head inside the casting basin. Pour regular lava onto the blaze head. The transformation will be almost instant. The lava will supercharge it, turning into blazing lava. With your empty bucket at the ready, you scoop up the blaze lava. Blazing lava, this scorching liquid is uh, crucial for melting uh, those uh, coveted uh, tier 4 materials. So, let's uh, do this real quick. So, I'm going to put this diamond back into here. There we go. I'm going to get a bit of lava while I'm here. Oh, can I? Oh, there. Oh, get back. No. Alright, and then I need... Uh, the copper cans. Oh, got three of them here. One, two, three. There we go. My inventory is full. I'm gonna eat this and chuck that out. So we want cleaver. So cleaver cast. Oh, I also figured out that uh, to stop from duplicating these, you just hit it once. If you hit it multiple times, you get as many uh, of the cast as you get from hitting uh, as, you, you know, as you hit it. So we want to cast. So let's uh, let me look this up. Where? Oh, there it is. It's invisible. The diamond cleaver. One for just a regular diamond one. There we go. So we need cleaver guard, and that's yeah, that's the only thing I'm missing is cleaver guard. Cleaver guard cast. Put that in there. Put molten diamond in there. And that can go back in there. It would be nice if we didn't use up lava every time you put all the molten material in there. So now I got the guard. We can go into this anvil. And make myself a diamond cleaver. 15 attack damage. Oh, and it doesn't have the long recharge tank, so... Someone blaz. Oh, just one shot of blaze. Oh, there we go, I got a blaze head, so it's not super uncommon. And this is without being enchanted. What? Google, go away. There, I got a blaze head. Can I place it? Oh, you can! Ah, uh, that's cool. Hold on, how... Let me go into game mode one. How many heads it does this have? Uh, 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 uh. So, you get... You have the vanilla head. Spawn hammer head shark. Zombie head. Creeper head. Dragon head. Piglin head. Well, there's added blaze. Cave Spider, Drowned, Dan Rob's Prob's Head, Bedrock Dev at FTB and Minecraft Content Creator, Tinker's Construct. I don't know how you get his head. I'm aware of it. Uh, Enderman Head, Husk Head, Piglin Brute Head, Spider Head, Squid Face, uh, 
147 head. Lead, Bedrock Dev at FTB, Tinker's Construct, Stray Head, and Zombie Piglin Head. So, just out of respect for these two dudes, I'm gonna have his head there. I'm still in creative. And his head there. There. Anyway. So. Pop that out. There we go. So we put the blaze head in there. No, I don't want to wear the blaze head. Oh no, wrong one. Yeah. There we go, it goes in there. And we get the bucket of lava. And now we've got blazing uh, a bucket of lava. Blazing lava. It used to be called Blazing Pyrothium in the uh, Java one. Uh, tier 4 melee uh, harvest and materials. Blaze at lava requires uh, for, required uh, for 4 tier smelting. Uh, Swap to blaze lava crafted with a blaze head and regular lava and cast and base and use these materials to craft parts for your melee weapons and harvest tools. So we've got queen slime. Defy gravity with uh, queen slime. Every landing feels a, like a cloud. So you got the uh, pickaxe head which is uh, missing its little icon. With a durability of 1650. That's more than the diamond with 1,400. Uh, harvest here, neverite. Mining speed, 6. Which is less than diamonds. No, it's the same as diamond. But ardite's faster. Uh, attack damage of 2. Trait, bounce, handle. Durability multiply of 1.35 times. Mining speed multiply of 0 0.9 times. And attack damage. So, uh, yeah. Next we have Manulium! Yeah, so yeah, we, we saw this in the uh in in this. So you make the raw manu manulium. You make the raw manulium. You need Ardite and Never Blend, which is made in here. Neverite blend, which is just raw gold and neverite scraps, not super difficult. Make a bunch of way. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm getting distracted. Um, so on Manulium. Durability 1250. Which is a bit. Which is less than the Queen Slime. Same at Harvest here. 6.5 times speed. which So it's a little bit faster for a bit less durability. It has. <laughs> 3.5 times. And it has the Plunder ability. Who needs strategy when you could just pillage everything? Uh, the handle durability 1.1 1. 1 times durability, 1.1 1. 1 times mining speed, and 1 times uh, attack damage. Uh, so yeah, the head is the main like thing you uh, want to worry about. So it it dictates the durability. It it dic the base durability it dictates the uh, mining base the mining speed and the base. The base, base mining speed, the, base, the harvest here, and the daily base uh, attack damage, and that's what you want to focus on. Everything else is just the handle, it's just there to um, complement and enhance the pre existing trait in the heads, is basically what you want to take away from all, all this video. And you've got Hepa, Hep, I, Hep, uh, Hepatizon. Hepatizon. The head has a job here 975, which is quite low. Uh, harvest here, neverite. Mining speed of 8, though, which is the fastest we've seen so far, I think. Attack damage of 2.5 times. Trait floaty. 
the whispers of hepatitis on they will lift you up or drag you down. Will they lift you up or drag you down? And then handle durability 1.1 times, mind speed 1.2 times, and attack damage 0.9 times, sweet floaty. Yeah. Then we just got straight up. Oh. I didn't mean to press space bar. Tier 4. Never right. Hey, durability 1420. Harvest tier. Neverite, mind speed 8, 8 attack damage 3, trait guard. Feeling a little pushed around lately? Yeah, guarding will change that. Handle, durability 2.5 times multiplier. Mining speed 1.8 times multiplier. Attack damage 2 times multiplier. That's actually a pretty good handle actually. I think that's, a, that's probably going to be the best handle in the game. Uh, smithing table. The smithing table empowers uh, you to transform your forged diamond parts into mighty neverite pieces. So, yeah. Additionally, it allows you to add uh, stylish trims to any newly crafted... Oh, so it takes cultural stars trims. Nice. So, can I not just... Uh, hold on. Let me shift... Left click, remove. Still not gonna be able to place this down, am I? Nope, still can't place it down. I'm gonna have to use the place block at will summon command. I think that'll work. So can I not just put my blazing lava buckets in here? Hold on, let's get the lava out of here. Come on, let me get the last bit of lava out. Is it because my inventory is full? Oh no, there must be like the tight there must not be like a full bucket of lava in there. I can't put that back. I da ba 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 da da Remove Okay, I think I know. Well, it works. I think. Put that in there. So, can I not just take some Neverite? Give that P Neverite. Scrap. 64. Okay, you can't just put never write in there by the looks of it. Oh, what about never write in dot? Oh, you can do never write in goods, yes. And then, I mean, that's not going to be enough for a bucket because there you need at least nine in there. All right, so I'm just going to give myself a bunch of blaze heads. Give 
at P plus add C4. Oh, they only stack up to one. That's great. Head. That in there. That in there. And then just doing that. And then we can just take a bunch of never writing gets and dump them in there. Oh, and I think it's full of never right. Yeah, oh, look at that. I've not. It's a. I don't think I. You know. I've, I've never seen never write in, a, in Tinker's Construct before, so that's cool. And then we can just gear a bucket of it. Actually, we don't want buckets of it, we want the little copper cans of it to make stuff. But that's for the, like, later if I get. Yeah. I think I'm gonna just take some of these heads and put them in there real quick. Later. Anyway. So yeah, you can just make straight up never write stuff. Um, but if I um, do I still have some never writing on me? Yeah, I do. Uh, give at p never write upgrade template sixty four. Uh, smithing table, never I upgrade, cleave. Ah. And he can't do the cleave, but what if I just get some, I think, diamond, like a diamond pickaxe head? Get that, pickaxe cast. Cast in there. Diamond. In there. Can I have my pickaxe head, please? Oh, there we go. I got my diamond pickaxe head. Will the diamond pickaxe head go in there? I think it did. No. Where is it? No. Hmm. Okay, apparently that's not working. Again, probably will be fixed in a future update. I don't know why there's so many bugs with this on launch. It, like, again, it was, uh, like, one of the best, like, mods for Java. So, it's a little bit disappointing that there's so many issues with it on day one. But still, it is still... It, like the brilliance of this mod still shines through even with all the years issues with it in my opinion like, obviously you can have your opinion ah oh, now nah, literally unplayable you can't place down 
the uh, seared tags or the smeltery controller or the uh, seared faucets and or any like the these well again it's going to be updated in the future so you can hold off you can get it now if you if you like the look of it or how even with all the bugs uh, or you can just hold off and wait for updates and again I'll be leaving the uh, I'll be like making sure any like minor days like bug fixes and stuff get to uh I'll get pin in, get put in a pinned comment in the in the like comment section of this video so you can always come back to the video and be like oh they fixed that or I might even like upload an entirely new video where if this gets a significant update that's not just bug fixes. Uh, tier three materials. So, tri material traits. So, cl Killager, defeating villagers, uh, pillagers, can reward you with emeralds whilst potentially uh, granting you the hero of the village. Oh, so that's cool. So, if you, so you can make a pillager farm and ha and kill them manually and get extra like emeralds and stuff from them. Uh, smeltery boost if. Boost efficiency by automatically smelting mined blocks and it uh, provides a fiery defense during enemy uh, and combat. So, which one had smeltery? I want to show that off real quick. So, smeltery, I think that. Uh, Soulbound, Killager, Diamond, Stock, Smelting, Ardite. In the middle of our street, ah, died. I still have the pickaxe head on me. Well, I thought I put that in there. Anyway, game one E. Ah, died. Pick. Um, yeah, so that's a pure Ardite pick. So, give at P here on 464. So let's test this out. Yeah, that's one iron ingot. Okay, so now I want to enchant it to with fortune and see if it uh, affects uh, if fortune affects how much all you get from it. I'm trying to test this earlier on, well, otherwise I wouldn't have thought to this. I would, I would just assume that you can't enchant things because uh, in the original Java mod, uh, basically instead of to, instead of, like enchanting it with fortune, you'd uh, put it put your pickaxe or, or looting. You'd put it in like a smithing table with lapis, and you get the look in, look uh, bonus. I need to actually enchant this. Not just grab the book, I need to enchant it. There we go. And maybe they'll add that in the future and and the, the change the chain you know, switch up the systems. And I would really like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll just chuck those four ingots out. Oh yeah, it works with. Uh, it also works with fortune. That is really good. Hold on, what about an Ardite axe? Yeah. I'm not going to try test uh, test fortune. I just want to see if the Ardite Axe 
So yes, Aldite Axe. Just a regular axe. Aldite Axe. Oh, I need to enter my inventory real quick. I made way too many of these. Don't need them. Uh, Pickaxe can go in. They can go in because I don't think I'll be using any more of them. No. Uh, uh, they can go in. Uh, I know I, I am still in creative, so let me get a sap. Let's get an oak sapling. What's that? Sky sapling. Scarlet sapling. Ender sapling. Air sapling. I think these are all, I think, construct stuff, but that's probably going to be explained later. Um, meal. Right, so we plant the sapling. We bone me a little. Yeah, it was. So if you need charcoal, that's an easy way to get. So yeah, we'll just work with trees. And obviously, if you hit a mob with it, it'll say on fire. Probably, I guess that's probably this one's good. Uh, stuck. A uh, crippling uh, strike uh, slows your enemies, hindering their escape and attack speed. So, yeah, it basically slows your enemies down and uh, uh, reduces attack speed. Soul bound, your most prized tool and weapons stay bound to your spirit, preventing loss upon death. Like I said earlier, Diamond infuses your tool and weapons with uh, enchanted durability, making uh, them resistant to wear and tear. So it's basically unbreaking free. Well, maybe not free, but at some level of unbreaking. Bounce, soar to a new height, so wielding this tool grants a powerful jump boost and a soft landing in most cases. So you get jump boost and you don't take fall damage, basically. Plunder. Slain foes uh, sh shower you with witches. With a chance for the their loot to become more plentiful. Looting free, basically. Guarding. Stand your ground. This trait absorbs the force of blows, keeping you steady. It basically gives you resistance. Floaty. Your attacks uh, pack uh, such a punch. They send foes on a one-way trip to the uh, stratosphere. That's this launches your foes up. Oh, is that the end? Yeah. Okay. But that's not the end of the game because we've got another book to go through. God damn it! I love this add-on. Even with all its like faults, there's just so much to it. I, I've not uh, uh, seen how much, but I know this is going to be at least two hours long. I could have done an entire bleeding live stream on this, just reviewing this add-on. Like, yeah, damn. So, on to Tinker's uh, Gadgetry. So, so, we have the introduction, that Slime Beans. Slimes and Slime Islands, Slime Sling, Throwables, Armor, and Potions. Let's get to the introduction. Okay. Well, gee, you are holding the book upside down. Mel's Guide to Gadgets. Greetings, fellow tinkerer. I am Melva, and the slime has been my passion ever since a fateful tumble into a gooey pool. Though I haven't yet reached the esteemed rank of master tinkerer, I'm constantly experimenting, hoping my discoveries will one day earn me a place among them. This book is a chronicle of my inventions, 
my pursuits of unique slime modifiers and my adventures in the in the fascinating world of slime. May it serve as a valuable guide on your own quest to master both the art of tool making and the incredible properties of slime. I think she likes slime. Earth slime beam bean. A bean. The earth slime bean can be found hidden within tall grass. Once planted on the, the grass, earth slime beans a sprout uh, w sprout will emerge from the ground. That'll create an earth slime island. So let's uh oh I got a bunch of bone meal here. Smack. Smack, 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 No air slime beans yet. No, no, there we go. Air slime bean. Got three of them. They're invisible. I plop you down. Air slime. Oh, of course I can't place down the air. Bean, <laughs> god damn it. Can I summon an air slime beam? Bean. Down here, some earth slime bean seed. Okay. What's wrong? Yes! So, yeah. Oh! Okay, it turns the ground into air, air slime. Okay, this is cool. Well, it would be if you if, if you can place them down. Also, it gives you a bunch of uh, oxide daisies for some reason. Hold on, I need to stab this guy real quick. Free slime. Die! It's just a straight up slime spawner. Oh, and a bunch of slime blocks. Oh, there's water here. I can't see because I will not allow my texture packs. So, yeah, that's mildly annoying. Uh, but look here. You have slime trees. And slime dirt. Air slime log, air slime grass. And now I got lots of slimy for days. Oh, yeah. So you get a new wood. So if you're a builder, you got a new green wood to build with. Oh, and you probably got the best idea to put this right here. Because that's going to be a lot of cleaning up for me later. Uh, difficulty, peace, there you go, the switch it to peaceful so they're not bothering me. Why are you guys still here? It's peaceful, you're not supposed to spawn in peaceful. Go away. Maybe well, they are supposed to spawn in peaceful because they didn't attack me so maybe they just behave changes to peaceful. Anyway. Um, let's get back to the book. <sniffs> We've got Telecube Bean. Hidden in moss, you might uh, find that there's some strange clay-like bean. The uh, Telecube Bean uh, plant uh, it on uh, some uh, wet clay and watch it sprout a tiny island that looks uh, just like a piece of the overworld, complete with Telecubes. So, I need clay. 
Actually, I can probably just summon the bean here and it'll... So what, what do I need to summon? It's the... Heracube bean. Heracube bean entity. Yeah. Oh, um, a custom mob, clay slash, and apparently, oh, they drop clay. Oh no, oh, oh, you, we knew boss was clay. I, oh wait, no, yeah, you can do the mud. You can do the mud thing to get clay. Yeah, this is just like a renewable source of clay, basically. And that's it. You just get a renewable source of clay. Not hostile. Oh, you get little friends. Yes. <laughs> Shoot. There we go. Got them. Yeah, they're friendly. Neat. I'm making a lot of mess here. Ah. Oh. Okay, sky slime beam. Search for the sky slime beam. Uh, being nestled within mud or clinger to muddy mangrove roots. Plant it in mud and watch the sky slime sprout from the ground. Okay, I'm just gonna get my gauntlet. Actually, you can just probably one. Yeah, so uh, I've already made enough mess of my base. I'm gonna have to clean it up later. I'm gonna do the sky slime away from my base this time. I R smart. S M R T. Also, there's more of these to come, so like as well. I've already got sweets. I don't really need to transform into a cat, do I? What level of speed is it? Speed two. Yeah. I don't know if cat gives speed three. Don't think so. So yeah, Sky Slime. Sky. Yes. Generated in Slime Island. Oh! Stop. 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 Do you guys drop anything? Uh, not by the looks of it. I remember in... Oh no, they do! I was going to say they drop these... Uh, blue slime... Yeah, sky slime balls. In the original what? In the original mod, they were actually edible. Oh, we got new wood! Sky wood. A cool new blue wood to build with. Oh, that's actually a really nice blue as well. Yeah, it would. Ah, of course, you got slime. Oh. We've got sky slime blocks. So, yeah, sky slime. Hold on. I want to go into game mode one real quick. Um, one. So if I just fly up into the sky, high into the sky, and boom, boom. Yes. Ah, uh, no. So it doesn't generate the blocks. It just converts existing blocks. So if you wanted a sky slime island, you'd have to build a sky island and then convert it to slime. Which kind of makes sense because you wouldn't even be like be able to place it mid air like that normally. Anyway, next is the Scarlet Slime Bean. Delve into the heart of the Never to find the Scarlet Slime Bean. Breaking weeping vines to break weeping vines to discover these beans and plant them on Crimson Nirium and watch new Scarlet Island form. So I think I can just summon it and it'll work. 
call it slime being entity. Yes, and I guess this is how you get Scarlet Slime. Uh, that you need to create the thing that we talked about earlier. Yes, yeah, so we've got Scarlet Slimes here. Yeah, and we've got the Scarlet Slime Balls. I think, where are they? Are they invisible? Air Slime Bean. I don't want Air Slime. Why do Yes, you get them from. Oh, I'm still in creative. That's why. Oh, yeah, there they are. Scarlet slime balls. Oh, and a new wood. Um, go away, slime. Got the Scarlet Shroom Logs, which make all a really nice shade of red. And you've also got this. I assume it's just basically the, a type of leaf block. Yeah. And obviously you got like Scarlet Slime Blocks. But yeah. That's cool. Oh, one last one. Oh, I jumped while I had it open, so now I have to go... I'm going to go over here, far away, next we've got the ender slime bean, this elusive ender bean lies hidden with it with an end stone, crack open a block and that you might just unearth this potential treasure, this bean can be planted on end stone, end slime, end slime can only be obtained from growing an end slime bean on end stone. The en the island that uh, forms is home to the Ender Slimes, which uh, can which when hit will te teleport away randomly. Okay, I don't know. Oh, so End Slime. Yes. Oh, there we go. I thought for a moment it wasn't going to work because it's not in the end, and most of it generated on the on the ground. Great. Oh, what well, we have a new what? Oh, and also got oh, and and the guy and something from it. Got end slime balls. Oh, and that's the same. Log. Yeah. End slimes. I think it was supposed to be into one ball. Yeah, you're gonna have to make us. You're gonna have to make a lot of slime fans. Basically. Yeah, I got end slime balls. Air slime can be found naturally in swamp biomes, but if you plant an air slime bean on grass uh, and the uh, air slime will island will emerge from the ground. Terra cubes can be found can be discovered when using a, a an terra cube bean on a clay block. This slime seems to be completely made out of clay. Sky slime, sent to sky slime and as this can be uh, can jump incredibly high, which means these slimes could attack you from above. Oh, so they are hostile. I guess it's, they're just not hostile because we're in peaceful mode. Uh, scarlet slimes can be found on Scarlet uh, Slime Islands. These slimes have unique properties such as self-healing and they also uh, glide when falling. So deal slime, two by two. These blocks can be uh, melted in uh, a smeltery to create liquid slime. Slime sapling, slime slap it, slime. Oh god! Ah! Too much of a tongue twister for this early in the morning. Slime saplings can uh, only be obtained uh, from uh, slime islands that uh, emerge when using slime beans. They won't grow naturally. They need to be uh, forced to grow, 
Whilst we're using bone meal. Earth slime sling. The earth slime sling can uh, be crafted in the, the uh, crafting table. When used whilst looking at the floor, it'll uh, fling the uh, user up in the air. Well, the longer you hold uh, the further down you will be launched, but it comes at to the risk of fall damage. So let's get an earth slime sling real quick. My inventory is flooded. So give at P F slim sling. So it is invisible. And it's not working. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Okay. You got Sky Slime, slime Sling. The uh, Sky Slime Sling can be crafted into the uh, crafting table. When used, it will launch. It. The user will be launched in the direction they uh, used it in. Uh, great for getting up to high places fast. Scarlet Slime Sling. The uh, Scarlet Slime Sling uh, can. Uh, be crafted in the crafting table. It's uh, used to fling uh, you, uh, but in uh, isn't used to fling you, but instead mobs. Uh, the longer it's held, the further away they will fly. Ender slime sling. The ender slime sling can be crafted in the uh, crafting table. When used, it'll teleport the user to where they just aim to. If the if uh, there are blocks nearby, you'll search for a safe block to land on. Then we've got Flint Shulligan Shulkin. So let, let's get back to the uh, base to do that. Uh, allay. Allay, 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 allay. It is not time to do. Oh, so you don't have to build it because that's definitely generating some blocks. So I don't know how exactly it works. I think you need at least one block then for the Sky Island to generate. The island to generate. So you could. Uh, probably, uh, um, oh, speed four. Yeah, this is definitely fast. Uh, you could definitely, um, words, <laughs> uh, like build up in the sky, place one block, pl then grow the uh, island, and then you would make an entire island, I think. Uh, it's only really something to worry about once they actually fix it up. And if you have any questions about the add-on, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. That's why I left that go in there. Come on. So yeah, flint shurikens. Dang, the uh, you use for flint is just not making a single flint and steal you in the entire time playing the game. Uh, keeping crafting materials because that's all it's good for. And you get flint shurikens. You only oh. there we go. Got one stack of flint shurikens. Oh yeah, slime sling. I forgot I had that. Yeah, my inventory's full of random stuff. Dump all that in there. Yeah, they do three damage, it said. Yeah. And you just throw them. And if they miss, they just drop. Yeah, they're not attacking me because it's peaceful. Well, good target practice. So yeah, if you have some extra flint, not a bad use for them, really. Uh, well, I remember in the uh, Java one, uh, you could actually like make different like uh, metals yeah. into like shurikens, and they weren't like 
run out completely. You just have to. It they would. It was basically like durability. So you just like uh, repair them to get more back. Um, and then you got quartz chuckins. Yeah, you, you can get a lot of quartz quite easily. So let's get a few some nether quartz. Never of course, never of course, never of course, course, course. Um, oh, right, you, uh, you, in there. Uh, where would never of course be? I think it might be in never blocks. That one. Oh no, that's just never, oh, that's never blocks, so the one with loose doing on it. New, no. okay, does never of course that it is in valuable? Or crafting materials. Ah, oh, here we go. Crafting materials. Yeah, four. So you basically, you basically, a bit one to one. Uh, five attack damage. That's not bad for a range uh, weapon. Also, it is a bit of a shame that I only stacked up to sixteen now. Um some mon mim mimic Yeah, it went away. There you go. Yeah, pretty cool. I said if you have uh if you have some extra quartz lying around you could do that. Then you've got glow balls. Uh, by combining snowballs with uh, glowstone and dust, you'll uh, craft a uh, throwable light source. It's uh, effective for lighting up hard to reach areas without exposing yourself to harm. That's eight snowballs and a glowstone dust to get eight glow balls. Uh, I believe I have. Yeah. Not much. Give. Happy snow all eight. So about eight glow balls. So I need to take my helmet off. I don't think there's any really dark areas down here. Have a little lot of it up. Oh. Ah, there's a bit of dark area over there. You can just yeet. Oh, that's cool. It just makes an invisible light source. Also, that's that would be good for like building if you don't want your light sources to be too obvious. Okay, yeah, this is quite cool. Simple and effective. I like it. And it's not too OP because, um... It's, it's just got, it is one glowstone dust, but you have to get go to the nether to get glowstone dust. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to get. It's not like you can just, like, style up a world and, like, make a ton of them. And just, like, spam them everywhere and light up the entire world in, like, a matter of... Minutes of starting a new world. What's next up on the bar? Oh. Uh, here we are. Ethlin. E F L N. An EFLN is a throwable TNT-like projectile that explodes on impact, which is uh, primarily used in mining circumstances. Why does the EFLN... E what does EFL even mean? Explosive flint, of course. Explosive flint. What does the LN stand for, though? Anyway. I think that's a joke. 
One, two, three, four. I don't know why I did them in stacks of two. It doesn't matter, really. And then just a single flint. And we're making a single EFLN. Let's take this down here and see how big it goes. I said it was used for mining, so... Not really worth it. Then we've got Traveler's Armor. Traveler's Armor can be crafted using the copper ingots and leather in a crafting table. Think of this as an upgrade to the regular leather set, which has a slightly better defense. For you, just slightly better leather armor. And Traveler's set can also be combined with gold ingots in a tinkerer's anvil to create the Traveler's Golden Armor. However, this is purely cosmetic and won't provide any other benefits. We can take a look at it real quick. So it's just like leather and copper. Leather and copper. So, leather being a feather, I think. Yeah. So, leather. Copper. That's a lot of copper. Uh, I don't see the recipe for. Um, what do you need for the traveler's goggles? Ah, also two glass pings. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Drop her in there. I'll just dump a five lever in there. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it provides decent protection, actually, considering it's just like a bit of leather and the copper and some glass. It looks kind of cool, actually. And I assume it can also be enchanted with like mending and breaking and all that good stuff. And protection. So if you want to do some like role play. With that, you probably can. <sighs> ah, now we're going, coming on to the armor. So we've got plate armor. Plate armor is crafted using cobalt ingots and chains. It has a fairly high durability and protection stats, which are slightly higher than a regular iron set. So, the base just like plate armor is just is just is slightly better than iron. Plate armor. Uh, excuse me, it's also highly custom uh, excuse me, uh, customizable by combining get a piece with any of the three types of ingots in a uh, <laughs> Tinker's Anvil. You can uh, change its appearance to match the ingots material. However, this is purely cosmetic and won't grant any R. Oh. So yeah, that's that's a bit disappointing that it's only slightly better than iron armor and it requires cold ball, which you have to go to the never to get that. Okay, yeah, I, will, I, I I have to say that is disappointing, like, maybe if it uh, we used like iron ingots and it was about as good as, you know, a little bit better than iron armor, and then you could uh, customize it with, with other ingots to increase its uh, defense, like, if you like added cold bolt, it would increase its defense, like, that would be cool, but how would it be used, one, two, three, four, five, well, yeah, basically use cobalt. Uh, chain. Wait, no, what was it called again? Plate armor, not chain. 
plate. Yeah, that's two. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I don't. I just don't think that's really a worth it, considering like how difficult it is to get cobalt armor. Uh, liquid slime. You uh, can create liquid slime by uh, melting uh, slime in a uh, smeltery setup. Liquid slime is primarily uh, primarily used for creating a new armor set. Maybe others uh, other uses will be discovered in the future. Um, so yeah, but uh, I would definitely like if they like added like slimy towards and heads, and then that that would have, give it the slimy ability. I basically give it like uh, the like met, you know the, to regenerate durability over time. That would be cool because that was like one of the best uh, um, like uh, you you know um, words. It was like one of the best like ability or material like uh, aspects or whatever, or abilities or whatever you want to call it. Slime armor can be created by your pouring the liquid. Ender slime into either a rabbit foot, shulker shell, plate, chest plate, or traveler's goggles. So, hold on. Liquid ender slime. Uh, I don't really want to bother with this because it is. Um, yeah, got some liquid. Got some end slime balls there. I don't really want to bother with that because I'd have to like. Uh, I guess I'll. I guess I have to. Give at P and sixty-four. There, uh, got congealed in the slime. And it's a regular bucket. I can sort that out later. Is it gonna let me? No. And that bears because yeah, there's never eight in there. Um, I might just break the diamond one. Move. Um, smelt. Boom. That works. I don't care. <laughs> this doesn't use up a lot of lava. I'm pretty sure he's going. To, yeah, maybe. I don't. I'm not. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go down. But it doesn't look like it's going down actually. Yeah, I can store a whole stack. Yeah. Ooh, and now I'm stuck. Yeah, be careful going into these things because you will get stuck. But uh. In the original one, again, you take damage and then blood will go in there. But I guess I did. Uh, maybe I didn't want blood. Give at P. Fuck. Four buckets. Why you no come out? Oh, no, oh. I just want, okay. I guess it was like overlapping. Uh, Smart to be controller. I think it's overlapping again. God damn it. Uh, 
Yeah. Ah. Uh, you know what? Fine, I'll do. And then. See a tank. Oh, God damn it! Right, hold on. I'm just gonna give myself liquid ender slime. And be bothered to this. It's, right. If I could just place the smeltery controller down, this would be so much easier, but you just can't because it's bugged. Give that P and slim bucket for. Right, and it needs rabbit foot, shulker shell, plate chest plate, traveller's goggles. Fault, shulker shell, plate, chest plate. Shell. Shell. There we go. So that in there. Oh, no. no. Yeah, it's a, oh wait, do I need to put it first? I think I do. Oh yeah, if I put that in there first, then, oh, no, yeah, no, no. Uh, And I need another rabbit's foot. There you go, got the boots. Ah, oh, there we go. Just didn't hit. Can I hear what I don't know? And that snaps that book out of existence. Shoulders, knees, and toes. 500 durability, not as good as diamond. Um, 
And I think it's... No, you have to go to the end to get it. Get this. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. It's a new armor, so if you like the crawler and you not, don't care too much about it being as good as diamond, like... This will keep it protected from, like, most things in vanilla Minecraft. Well, it good enough. Yeah, brewing. Use uh, mysterious ingredients combined with glass bottles in a brewing stand to unlock the uh, secrets of various new magic potions. So we got new potions! We got Potion of Slime, Glass Bottle, Congealed Earth Slime, Potion of Ender Slime, po uh, Magma Potion, Glass Bottle, uh, Magma. Potion of Sky Slime, Glass Bottle, Congealed Sky Slime, Potion of Scarlet Slime, Glass Bottle, Congealed uh, Scarlet Slime, Venom Potion, Glass Bottle, Spider's Eye, Ica Slime uh, Slinger. Uh, the Ica Slime Sling can be crafted in the, the uh, crafting table using other slime slings. Surrounded in uh, mysterious Ica Slime Sling or origins are unknown. His recipe is uh, produced a pure chance. Begs the question of what uh, strange effect it will, will it hold. Try it out on nearby players and see what happens. Oh. Okay, so. It didn't tell me what the patients did, so let's go see if we can craft them. So. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, so I want 18 glass bottles, here, that key, glass, bottle, 18, and I need to go downstairs to brew up my brewing, Station. All right, so on deal day flame. Give at P Kong G on deal day flame. So wait for that to brew up. Uh, and the slime mag. I do need the end of shine. Here we go, so it gives you slowness, uh, 1 for 45 seconds, but also resistance, 2 for 25 seconds. Not bad. And it's only slowness, 1, and it is resistance, 2. Oh, and you drink it instantly. Yeah, I think also my speed is keeping me from being the full, full effects of it, but yeah. Uh, resistance 2 is quite good, so if you don't have any other way of getting resistance 2, hold on. Let's drink another one. There we go. Yeah, you're not too slow. You're, you're a bit slow, but you're not too slow, and resistance is always nice. Alright, so let's move. Let's go up the next one, and then I'll get. Uh, magma. Give at the mag mag ma. And that's magma block. Congealed sky slime. Scarlet and spider eye. Right, let's see. This will give you slowness and levitation. I don't really see how that's going to be helpful. Good. 
and you're slow and you go and you go up. I mean, I guess you could probably come up with like some use for this, probably. But it is a very like niche thing, in my opinion. Now maybe you could make it into splash potions. It might be annoying. It might be good to annoy your friends. I'm gonna keep my arm off for now so I can see the full effect. Uh, oh! Potion of Magma gives you fire resistance for three minutes. Yeah. That P. Damn it. Red stew. Yeah, redstone P. Yeah. No, nah, you can't add redstone to it. Gun powder. Can you make them into splash potions? Nope. Yeah. Uh, Scarlet Slime and Spider's Eye. See what these do. This gives you minor fatigue and health boost. Hmm. That's actually not bad for like a combat. If you're like in a fight, you drink it and you get a health boost. And it does mean you can't mine, but if you're in a fight, you're probably not going to want to mine. Would be nice if you could increase the effect, you know, add redstone or glowstone or gunpowder to these. Uh, this poisons you, but also makes you strong. Hmm. That's unique. Yeah, strength one, poison one. Yeah. I see it as like a high risk, high reward kind of thing. And it's fairly cheap to make. This gives you slowness and jump boost, too. Yeah, I'm slow and I'm jumpy. So yeah, it's a two block jump, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two blocks. Which is good, but yeah, it's slow, so there's, so there's a bit of a trade-off. So yeah. And that's everything in this add-on uh, I have showed off. And yeah, it is really big. And now, if it wasn't for like the bugs with like not being able to like work with like the invisible items and not being able to place stuff down, I would recommend this wholeheartedly to like anyone who likes to play with like mods and add or add-ons or whatever you want to call them. But with the issues I have showed off in this, you I would I would say you could still get it and enjoy and enjoy it perfectly fine, but uh, 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 you know if uh, the issues demonstrated in this video 
do put you off getting it for a little bit until the bugs have uh, sorted out. I would completely understand that. And there are, and, I, and as I have gone through, I have said what I would change and what I would add. So yeah, um, I hope you guys all did enjoy this ext probably extremely long video. Like I'm pretty sure like it's at least two hours long now and with this it's another like one hour yeah one hour for you it's gonna be like four hours long god damn Ugh. so i gotta edit this all together and a bit and uh pre-upload this is good this is gonna go up in like tomorrow uh so yeah hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, uh extremely long video hope to see you guys oh Webcam got knocked at some point. Ah, oh, the wire must have been pulled. Sorry about that. The notice. Yeah. Anyway, hope you, like, as I was saying, hope you guys all did enjoy. Have see you guys in the next one, and bye bye. Oh, there we go. Um, I was also scrolling through the creative inventory, and I noticed you can make a bucket cast. So if I just get, you can make that, and I, uh, I don't know why I need the house of sand. I don't need a sand wall, I need, well, give that P molten, I just put, Gold. Okay, gold. Okay, I think I need to get the iron out of there before I can uh, the put some iron in there before I can do that. So get one of them. Put that in there. Get another bucket. So I think you need to put the bucket in. Then pour the gold in. Yeah, there you go. Now you can make infinite buckets. So there's also the bucket cast. I also notice it will say diamond cast. So uh, you know you can make diamonds. And there's also, at least coded, there's a uh, emerald cast, which I don't know why you'd ever why you'd ever need to make liquid emeralds. Nudge nudge hint hint future update. Now you can make emerald casts. There's also ingot cast you can make. Do I just put an iron ingot in there? Nope, can't put an iron ingot in there. What about gold ingot? No, nope, can't put gold ingot in there. I don't know. I right, there's, there's definitely a um, ingot cast in there. So I don't know how you would make that. Maybe it's bugged and you should be able to do it. Uh, try. I'm gonna try a brick again. Nope, can't do it with a brick. Hmm. Do you think? Yeah. Maybe I need another ingot. Another ingot. Ingot. So I could try copper. 
right, never right. Uh, yeah, the, you can see that in got cast. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to do it though. So maybe it's bugged and you just can't do it, or maybe I'm missing something, but you should be able to, and I'm just unable to, for some reason. Yeah, can't place copper in there, can't place devite in there. Can't place bricks, so... I don't know how to make an ingot cast. And it, and it doesn't tell you, but you can make it do this pretty easily. You can make that pretty easily, so. You can just put, make get you know, convert those blocks into ingots, but yeah. I just want to show that off real quick. <laughs>